Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, this is just a really quick message. I just wanted to say that I have moved accounts on Instagram. So currently I'm on a new account called JC's Vids 2. Um, it's called 2 because I can't change my um, username to JC's Vids until it's after 14 days. I don't know why. Made my old one called Old JC's Vids and my new one is JC's Vids 2. So if you follow my old one, you can unfollow it. So that's a little disclaimer. Follow my new one and yes. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these four different shakes. So yeah. So first I'm using blur mode curves because it's smoother. So first I keyframe shift X at zero, then at the next frame, I put it to 150, then negative 60, then zero. And then I easy ease it and that's all I do with the graphing. And you can play around with it to make it however you want, but that's just how I usually make mine. So this shake is made with easy ease, which is a plugin, but I use it from someone else's press it. And then I just change my settings to station frequency to 0.5, then position frequency at 1.5 and I usually put position amplitude at 0.8 but you can put it higher at around 1.1 to make it more bouncier or 0.5 to make it less bouncier. Now I'm just pasting the shake on a pre-composed layer just to show that the shakes look different on different types of clips. So yeah, so it looks less bouncy on a pre-composed clip. Also, I'd just like to say that I don't have the link to the Easy Shake plugin, so I put my press it in a link in the description so you can download it and just kind of adjust the settings if you want to. The next shake we're doing is the Scale Shake. First, what you're going to want to do is keyframe scale, then go to the end of your clip and add a keyframe there. Then press a little chain effect and pull the numbers so that it looks a bit squished. Then go to the next frame over and stretch it out like so. Then go two over make it pinched again, go a few more and stretch it. It's kind of straightforward, then you easy ease it so it looks smoother and you can adjust the numbers however you want it. And don't forget to put on motion blur. Next up we have this shake transition. So for this one I'm using blur mode curves again for it to be smoother. So you're going to keyframe shift x around the middle of your clip and at the end of your clip drag the number so it's around um, 130 then on the next frame over make it like negative 100. Then about two frames over make it positive 54 and then a few frames over make it negative 15 or 25. Make sure you are turning on reflect and then I'm copying and pasting these keyframes onto the next clip then I'm just rearranging them as you can see so that it's about the same, but just like backwards. So it looks like that. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my new Instagram, which is currently JC's Vids 2. And that is about it. I hope you enjoyed and comment if you have any requests or questions and goodbye.